like that was the single most stressful experience of my life. Can I help you? Name an appointment. Confirmed. Ularu is wrapping up a meeting with Genevieve. You can wait here or in the lobby area. I'll let you know when she's ready to see you. I see Imogene Salso is supposed to be with you. I'm right here, Maeve. Good. It should just be a moment. Well, sooner than I thought. Looks like Ularu's ready now. Ularu, is that always your response? I don't want another PR mess on my hands. Yes, Viv, because you're too good at your job. No, we can talk details later. My next appointment's here. Fine, but you can break this news to Alexis at our next meeting. Don't cause any trouble. Good, you're finally here. The one I've been hearing so much about. I'm Ularu Chen, head of operations here at Ryujin. So tell me, what do you think of your new job so far? In that case, it sounds like our initial impression of you is turning out to be quite accurate. Now, my dear genie here says you've been through the basics of what we do and pulled off success every time. Five successful standard assignments, and one specialized. And on top of all that, a flawless record. It's no wonder they love you up here. I happen to have a personal assignment that I'd like to send you on. One that involves meeting up with an outside contact. Genie seems to think you're more than capable of handling it. He's the best operative I've ever hired. <laughs> Let's not forget the only operative you've ever hired. Meeting with outside contacts isn't always as straightforward as your past assignments. Some can be fickle or demanding, so you'll need to decide how to handle them and what decisions to make on the fly. Good, because if not, I can't imagine we have much use for you here at Ryujin. Your contact is Simon Rychek. He claims to have information on a new project that Infinity LTD is working on. He said it's a game changer that Ryujin would be especially interested in. So his asking price is the big thing to consider. Finance will reimburse up to a thousand credits. So if you have negotiation skills, use them. Oh, <laughs> you'll get the information if you want to hang on to your job. Now, in order to confirm your identity, Simon prefers code phrases. I'll let Genie give you the details on this one because the concept is just beneath me. Simon is into sports, so he enjoys any opportunity to talk about them. At some point, he'll casually say, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You get to respond with, Razor Derby is the only real sport. Got it? You'll find him in Sidonia, so I hope your ship's fueled. Just look for him above the Lux condos in the plaza. You spoke very highly of this one, Genie. Let's hope he doesn't make a liar out of you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some things to take care of. Uh, thanks for the vote of confidence.
It's ready. I can stop. Get his stuff. Orbital insertion completed. I need to find a real bar. You lost? Or just come to ask an out-of-work miner how his day's going? Ugh. Only good thing worth talking about these days is sports. Speaking of, looks like the Galactic Raiders are the number one pick for the Universal Championship this year. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I heard they were sending someone new. Nice to see you made it. I have information on a deal being proposed between Infinity LTD and Deimos Stockyards. It's my belief that your employers would be highly interested in the details. So I'm upping my price. It's steep, yes. But that is why I'm also offering a little side job if you can't pay up. For this little tidbit? <laughs> Believe me, I know exactly what this is worth. Depending on what you have in mind, I may consider it. All right, I'll lower the price, but that's my final offer. Unless you may prefer the side job now. I knew you'd see reason. The information I have is on a deal for something called Project Dominion. I'm giving you two slates. They contain surveillance and interaction data for Stanley McMillan, the Infinity Rep, that I obtained myself. I'm also giving you a third slate because you're going to need to download the files on Project Dominion off his computer yourself. Nice doing business with you. short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. What the hell are you doing in this dump of a city anyway? You draw the short stick at work or what? Infinity sent me to get Deimos to bite on a deal. He's even got a catchy code name. Project Dominion. Sounds like world domination to me, buddy. News, I'd buy into that in a heartbeat. Right? I'm telling you, this 
Project Dominion is the real deal. We ought to be selling this to Inception or Quantum. Hell, you should be in the Astral Lounge making Ryujin Industries beg for that tech. Ha! <laughs> That'd be the greatest irony of them all, but not this baby. Dominion is finally gonna put Infinity first. We'll beat Ryujin at their own game.
Don't wander into any restricted areas. Well, that took longer than expected. I hope whatever information Simon had was worth it. <laughs> Project Dominion? That can't be right. Give me a moment to run a decryption. Let's see... Got the key, deciphering, and... done. Well, well, well. Looks like our friend Simon wasn't joking. Project Dominion isn't an Infinity LTD prototype. It's one of ours. <laughs> they didn't even bother to scrub the name. Meaning someone never thought they'd get caught. Come with me. Masako needs to hear about this. Hey, um, Ularu? What is this about? Who is this? This is our latest junior operative. I sent him on an assignment to rendezvous with an informant. But here's the real news. Infinity LTD has gotten their hands on Project Dominion. Impossible. Not only that, they're trying to sell it under their own name. Of course they are. <sighs> We need fines to investigate this immediately. Since you found this information, I am trusting you to help investigate. You see, Project Dominion is confidential. It requires a high security clearance to even know it exists. If Infinity LTD has obtained any information on it, that means we have a very well-connected mole within our corporation. Exactly what I want to hear. I hope we're already putting those talents to good use. I want you to go see Dalton Fines, our chief security officer. I'll send him the details. You've brought an enormous security violation to our attention, so I trust your help in any way possible. And thank you. Some operatives may have seized this as an opportunity for extortion. It's good to know your loyalty lies with us. Dalton. Good, you're here. So, thanks to your work in Sidonia, I'm told someone here has leaked information on Project Dominion to our adversaries at Infinity LTD. A mole within the company means a failing in my department. We're initiating Security Directive Theta, which means a full sweep of every employee in this building, Masako and myself included. We don't conduct the sweep ourselves, but the ones who do have proven to be extremely thorough. Directive Theta has one unique case, and that's Ularu Chen. The Directive calls for a specialized programmer known as Nix to investigate her, but he'll need your assistance for an unusual assignment. We don't deal in trust here. Think more in terms of mutual benefit and leverage. And in this case, it's mutual benefit. Nix will be giving you a program to run on Ularu's computer that will pull any data needed to prove her guilty or innocent. Your job is to infiltrate Ryujin Tower as an anonymous outsider in order to run this program. Completely off the books. This means your keycard will be turned off. 
and the security guards in the building will consider you to be trespassing. At least one of us is. In the meantime, I'll ensure all non-essential employees, Ularu included, have left the building, claiming routine security maintenance. During that time, I'll be unlocking access to the tower's ventilation system, which you can utilize to help avoid detection. I'm also issuing you a disruptor, which should help in avoiding casualties should a worst-case scenario turn up. Good. No one can know about this, not even our own guards. So stealth will be of utmost importance. You'll meet Nyx at Madame Sauvage's place. He knows Directive Theta has been enacted. Keep out of my way and I'll keep out of yours. My career will be all right this year. Inside's a bad place for tourists these days. All areas gone to hell. For someone in my business, there's no better place. You got an appointment? Cause if not, consider this area reserved. Oh yeah, Dalton's little errand runner. I've written up a program just for the occasion, but as Ryujin knows, it's yours for either a price or a favor. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's not. This isn't getting us anywhere. Uh, Ryujin is my second best long-term client. <laughs> you must be joking. Now pay up. I don't have all day. A pleasure, as always. Your job is simple. Just run this little beauty on Ilaro Chen's computer, and the program will take care of the rest. Once you're done, bring the slate back to me at my place. Whatever encryption Ilaro has is bound to take some real work. More than my little setup here can handle. It's nice to see you know more than just sneaking around and talking a good game. Here's the slate. I'll be waiting.
thing if you know what's good for you! Ryujin security. No sudden moves. <sighs> nice try, but the building is off limits. You sure didn't get in by any authorized means. Hey, hey, I'm just trying to be careful here. Look, I'll trust you. But if any of us catch you on another floor, we'll shoot first and ask questions later.
Not seeing anything. I don't see anything.
Make yourself at home. Just don't take any souvenirs while you're here. So, you made it. Guess Ryujin security really is slipping. An old pro, huh? No wonder Ryujin likes you so much. Now, I'll take that program back that I gave you, and let's give the data a look. The program I gave you to run on Ularu's computer basically opens an all-access back door for me. I can see everything and anything, so let's take a look. Ularu has some impressive encryption on her files. Not that I can't crack it, of course. Circumventing protections, running decryption... This should just take a moment now. Damn, I'm good. That went faster than I thought. I'm saving several files to a slate for Dalton, including access history and anything related to Project Dominion. Adding in new encryption for him as well, so he's the only one that can view these. And done. You're all set. I've got the new encrypted slate. Let me tell you, it looks like fun times ahead for Ryujin. Technically, I'm not supposed to look, but it's kind of hard to not see what's going on while running all my software. You do that. Here's the slate. As usual, always a pleasure doing business with Ryujin. Inside's a bad place. Got my eye. On. Let's hear your report. Well, I assume success is in order. I had a few reports, but at least nothing that set off any red flags. I expected as much. Now. Let's see what we have here. I didn't think it was possible. But someone's been accessing Ularu's files remotely. It's quite a complicated trace, too. I'm impressed Nix was able to track all of this. Damn. And there's our culprit. Imogene Salzo, senior operations specialist, and one of the few I had in mind for who could pull this off. Well, she has the means and access. But things are rarely so cut and dry. Well, before we make any harsh decisions, I'll need to question her myself. I want you to head to her office and escort her here. 
We have to make sure she doesn't try anything before I have a chance to speak with her. Good. When you're dealing with corporate workers, discerning the truth from the lies is the hardest part. Don't cause any trouble. Hey, Twenty. Imogene? Try not to harass my text too much. They have work to do. I'm sure you can tell by now. She isn't here. Which is a shame, since I have several documents I need her to sign off on. She's always been the master of avoiding desk work. I'm not even sure that's any business of yours. But I do enjoy keeping close tabs on my counterpart. Dare I ask why you need to know? Yeah, no thanks. Getting information out of Dalton is like talking to a wall. Besides, speculation is far more fun. I have Imogene's last location at Frankie's Grab and Go, which we all know is a front for the Sioka Syndicate. You'll want to get executive sign-off if you plan on chasing after her. I'd say Dalton is your best bet. Good. I'd hate to see what sort of drama might get stirred up if you went around him. Or... Maybe I'd love it. Keep the workplace interesting, right? <laughs> Good luck finding Imogene. Oh, and if you do catch up with her, be sure to let her know I had everything to do with it. Glad to hear it. No Imogene, I see. Could she really be on to us already? Of course, Yuko would know. If Imogene's with the Syndicate, I can't just send you after her. You'll need to speak with Benjamin Bayou. We have to make sure he's aware of the situation. If we're lucky, he may even help us get to Imogene. Good. Because without it, this adds a complexity that we do not have time for. Head over to the Trade Tower and be discreet. Let Bayou know that you're there on Ryujin's behalf. He may ask for credits or even a favor. Just give him what he wants. The sooner the better. We don't want to give a clever mind like hers any more room than we have to. Just be sure to bring her back here in one piece. If she's truly the Mole, she'll have a lot to answer to. If she resists or tries to run, we have no choice but to take it as an admission of guilt. I'm afraid you'll have to dispose of her. Imogene has the potential to do this company a great deal of harm with her knowledge. She knows the consequences of betraying Ryujin, which makes her dangerous. If the situation does take a turn for the worst, I only ask that you perform a thorough search for any evidence she may have in her possession. I trust you won't let your past relationship cloud your judgment. <laughs> 